Is it necessary to take knowledge from those scholars who, whose chain are attached to the Prophet ﷺ? I heard this from a Salafi scholar. No, this is not true. This is not true simply because a lot of these so-called scholars might not be genuine. I remember seeing one of a video clip of a deviant super Sufi who's always smiling like this. I think he's got cramps in his, his, his face. He's, mashallah, he's, uh, he's always smiling. And he was saying that this turban, the white turban I'm having on my head, which is, wow, so clean. He said this, I got it from my sheikh, so-and-so in Hadramut. And then I, he got it from this, and he names like 30 people who are, acclaimed is supposed to be scholars you don't know them i don't know them and i doubt if he can memorize their names and say it again but for the sake of argument and he said they got it from so and so ali ibn abi talib uh, who got it from the prophet now do you mean to tell me that this turban which is remarkably white has lived for 15 centuries and reached you this clean what kind of a fabric is this even superman can't afford something like that so this is a blatant lie you can tell it is definitely a lie by a blatant liar so not necessarily yes there are well-known scholars of hadith of sunnah who are acknowledged as reputable scholars who have this chain of narrators, but it doesn't make a difference whether I take it from them or I read it from Sahih al-Bukhari itself because it's the same knowledge and Allah knows uh, best.